say, especially this current Tory shambles of a government, that Orgreave and the year of the miners' strike was all a long time ago, all history, and we should forget about it. What we say is, take note of everybody gathered here today, because we are not going away. <laughs> Margaret Thatcher's dead, and we're still here. And it's important that we remember that because the whole aim of checking on our union was to destroy, not just to emasculate the trade union movement, but to destroy it. We weren't supposed to be here. The fact that we are shows that we cannot be defeated. 35 years on. The picket line in our grief was actually started off by the National Union of Railway Workers and that was so we could stop the coal trains going to that coal plant. What happened here, quite simply, was the police had a premeditated, pre-planned riot. People couldn't move around South Yorkshire at that time without getting stuck at a roadblock, without getting taken out and harassed and held overnight. But suddenly, at our grief, thousands of miners were allowed to come here unhindered, no roadblocks and no stops. When they arrived here, they were met by lines and lines of riot police and soldiers dressed up as police and police mounted on horses. And those police mercilessly attacked those miners. They adopted those tactics from what the police done in Northern Ireland. Oh, conviction along with 11,000 others. The fact that over a thousand of us lost our jobs. The fact that two of our pickets were murdered on the picket line. I was 23 during the strike with three kids. I couldn't believe what was happening. We just went on strike because we wanted to save our jobs. And then he made us into criminals. He made us the enemy we then. Over the last five years since the first release of the cabinet papers, it has become undeniable that the strike was politically motivated, that the start of the strike was determined by the coal board in collusion with the then Tory government. That's why the Tory government are determined to resist any call to hold a public inquiry into our grief. Why do you think the papers are locked away till 2066? They're hoping we'll not be around. Well, I've got news for them. I've started a healthy eating campaign. By refusing to conduct an inquiry, this government is showing us that we up here just don't matter. Past, present or future. I represent an old mining village, Baton. Village and towns like Baton are still suffering because of the loss of the pits and what happened here 35 years ago. And it's these same villages and towns that are savage today under Tory austerity. Orgreave was symbolic of the Tory orchestrator breakup of the unions and the anti-trade union legislation that followed. 
And what has that led for us young people today? It's led to zero hours contracts, it's led to employment law flouted, crap conditions, no sick pay, no holiday pay and no dignity. Just look at the government's plan to let companies frack all over this beautiful area. They tried to sell it to us because they say it'll create jobs, despite fracking not actually creating a significant amount of meaningful jobs. But they know at this point we're pretty desperate for some work, some industry, we've got nothing left. It makes me angry what the state have done to our communities, what the state's done to our in the world is an utter horror and the only people so far who've come under any scrutiny is our members, trade union members, who the only thing they did was go to work at six o'clock on a night and then answer a call bell and turn out to try and save people's lives. Nobody's asked any questions of the contractors who did the renovation of Grenfell Tower. Nobody's asked any questions of the council. Nobody's asked any questions of the people who make this cladding. Rise up, all victims of oppression, for the tyrants fear your might. They are afraid of the united working class, the Shrewsbury campaigners, who in the 70s, their leaders were jailed. One of them died as a result of his treatment. We've got the blacklist lads and lasses who were denied the right to even feed their families. There are women here where the police formed illicit relationships. They've always been afraid of us. Our forefathers were sent to Australia for organising. People were killed at Peterloo. The next Labour government will launch an independent inquiry into the brutal clashes during the strike in 84, not least at Orgreave, where so many questions still need to be answered. And I thank every one of you at Orgreave today who have not given up in the fight for justice. You can raise a red flag over Westminster, but unless you set about organising a socialist society the bankers and the capitalists will rule you today. We don't have the trade union movement we had in 1984 and 85. But if we're going to build a better world, and if we're going to build a better decent society for the next generation, and if we're going to tackle things like climate change, we're going to have to rebuild that sort of movement for today. I want revenge on the people that did that to us and our communities and comrades. The best way to get that revenge is to abolish this rotten system. Yeah. 